I felt incredibly supported by the staff here at UT Health San Antonio. When we go on the clinical setting, it's very obvious how passionate and patient our physicians are here and working with them allows us to grow and reach our full potential being future physicians as well. A person in particular that I wanted to mention was Dr. Oswald. She's our program director for dermatology. I had the pleasure of meeting her early in my MS1 year and have followed up with her ever since. She's an example of someone who's incredibly kind, incredibly thoughtful, incredibly patient, and without her mentorship, I would not be where I am today. So thank you, Dr. Oswald. I also felt incredibly supported by our UME. Dr. Hansen, Dr. Estrell, two people that really come to mind, who are, I think, very unique in the sense that they take the time and will speak very candidly about us regarding any questions and concerns we may have. And I think that is something that's very special and very unique about here at UT Health San Antonio. I always felt that the school treated me as more than just a medical student and really worked with me to meet both my academic and personal goals, especially when it came to getting married during medical school. My husband and I were both medical students and from the very beginning, the UME worked with us to kind of find the best time in each of our academic schedules to make this happen. Then during early 2020, as we all know, kind of what was going on with the pandemic, I was navigating taking step one, all of the testing center closures and trying to figure out how I was having to change my wedding to accommodate the restrictions due, the, due to the pandemic. And the UME was just with me the whole way. Um, Paulina Mazurik talked me through the chaos multiple times. Dr. Hansen and Dr. Estrell worked with me very closely to navigate applying to residency and maximizing my chances of matching near my husband in California. So I just feel so lucky to have gone to a school that has worked with me so closely throughout my entire career and can't imagine having gone anywhere else. My favorite memory came during actually one of my dermatology rotations. I walked in the room and I met a boy who had vitiligo and this was special to me because that was something I was going through at about his age. It was my first time having such a full circle moment like that almost a decade later. And it was really special to me because I saw how comforting my presence was for this patient. It allowed me, my personal experience allowed me to build a rapport with the patient and his mother. And I could tell that him seeing someone going through the very similar experience, it was something that was very important to him as well. This is one moment where I felt that I had a big impact on the patient care and that's why it's so special to me. I love patient education and the first real taste of this I got was during my OBGYN rotation. So the team had just let me deliver the placenta and I was inspecting it back at my table when the partner of the patient who was still in high school kind of starts inching closer and closer to where I'm working and his eyes are so wide and he just asks, what the heck is that? So I got to explain what the placenta was, how it's a complete organ that your body grows during pregnancy. And I showed him all the different parts and how they worked to provide nutrients and oxygen to his baby while it grew. And he just thought it was so cool. He ended up taking pictures of it on his cell phone because he said that none of his friends were going to believe him when he told them about it. And that was just a really special moment for me because I got to play a role in this big moment in his life, but also kind of demystify what was going on and teach him something that he didn't know before. The curriculum at our school encourages professional development through an abundance of opportunities to pursue your special interests. I think that the most impactful thing you can do for your professional development is to pursue these interests through electives, projects, and organizations to really discover what kind of doctor you want to be. I learned so much about reflecting in medicine and how to be a supportive teammate through electives like the Healers Art in Medicine and Literature. And I got to be involved in my community through a community service learning project called Elementary Nutrition. Other students in my class led the free clinics, conducted research, and advocated for patient interests at the state capitol, among countless other activities. Uh, I love that there were so many ways to augment our education and really find your niche in medicine. Before I got to medical school, I did not realize how often you spend time working in teams in order to accomplish the greater goals. During our first and second year, we worked frequently in small groups, doing group quizzes, having academic discussions, and practicing our clinical skills. 
This is a big reason why when I got to third year and arrived on the clinical scene, it felt very smooth working in any team composition. And I was very confident in my ability to integrate and be effective in any of those teams. See you at graduation. See you at graduation.